may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer requests in the bottom. There's been some development things. We we're watching the Cascadia Zone, and we've all saw the San Francisco earthquake. A lot of people has, including me. So we kind of monitor that area at all times. Now, three buoys went off after this 6.4 earthquake. Now, they felt it all the way into Seattle. Now, the Cascadia is so dangerous because it's overdue, and it has got the possibility of being a 10-pointer that one does there. They're just waiting for that one to go off. Now, as I say that there was a 10-pointer goes off there on the Cascadia, it would affect San Francisco. It would be affected by a tidal wave, kind of like what happened in uh, Japan back in 2011. That's a very dangerous fault line there. So we're watching that area, and always keep your eyes on it if you live on the West Coast. If it's so much you're dealing with now, with all the heat and everything, and now the Cascadia is seeming to be coming active so we're keeping our eyes on that so so far we have a 6.4 there was also a five pointer there within 20 minutes of the other the, the one that happened before it and there's been another one since so that area is starting to move so we've got to keep our eyes on it now also we'll go into more detail on that right here it says flash back-to-back -back magnitude 6.6 .6 and a 6.4 earthquake hits the cascadia subduction zone now, back-to-back -back earthquakes have struck in the Pacific Ocean, a dangerous Cascadia subduction zone. That is where the Pacific Plate meets up with the American Plate, and there one is going under the other. That is, the Pacific Plate is going under, which was the Asian Plate, goes under the American Plate. And for a while, it just sits there and it gets stuck. Now, when it gets to a point where it goes as far as it can go, it releases, and that's where you get a violent earthquake. So the coast of uh, Canadian border, the first uh, quake in magnitude 6.6, .6, struck at 11.08, 32 seconds a.m. Eastern Daylight Time at the shallow depth of about 11 kilometers. It's also immediately followed by another quake measuring the magnitude 6.4 at 11.08. Now the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said there's no tsunami danger. Now, the, like I said, we had one buoy showed an 80-foot drop but we think that buoy there's something wrong with it because the other buoys that are close to the coast are not showing anything so we're not worried about that but they need to get that buoy looked at to have such a strong earthquake in a particular area is very dangerous the cascadia subduction zone is literally the most dangerous active earthquake zone on earth it definitely is it is where the big one will will begin on the u.s west coast moreover uh, even though these quakes are not the big ones such events tend to make uh, surrounding areas a bit unstable, which would lead to additional larger quakes, and that's the truth. This could make even the uh, San Andreas start to move a little bit more. So we're keeping our eye on it. There's another sign that we're in the last days. Ukraine drone hits a Russian nuclear missile testing site. Now this has happened in the last couple hours. Ukraine drone struck the nuclear missile site at the Yar. Cosmo drone in Russia on, uh, they're saying, well, no, this is actually older. So this is two days older. Now, remember, we told you there's a lot of news that we're getting and they wait to tell you until two days after. They're really getting bad for this. I don't know why, but we got to make sure that we're watching that also because they're really keeping us in the dark. The sign has been one of Russia's premier missile test ranges since 1947 and the most recent conducted a test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile on April the 12th of 2024. Now the Cosmodrome has apparently nothing to do with the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Hitting this 
afford zero benefit to the Ukraine military. So why did they do it? So why would Russia, uh, Ukraine hit the Russian nuclear missile test site that it has no military value to Ukraine? A lot of keen observers, observers think NATO. Over the past few months, Ukraine has taken out other Russian targets that also have uh, absolutely nothing to do with the Russia-Ukraine conflict, but do have a lot to do with Russia's nuclear capabilities, hence their nuclear radar sites also. On May 24th, Ukraine hit a Russian over-the-horizon radar station designed to protect Russia from inbound nuclear missiles, just as I just said. Four days later, on May 28th, Ukraine took out a second over-the-horizon radar elsewhere in Russia. Now, Russia knows this is NATO. They know it's not Ukraine. Now, Ukraine has hit another component of Russia's nuclear protection. It's Cosmodrome. I like that name. Since absolutely none of these targets benefit uh, Ukraine in the, any military way at all, one must ask, who does this benefit? It's NATO. By poking holes in Russia's over-the-horizon nuclear protection radar, Ukraine opened up gaps in their radar coverage, gaps wide enough for nuclear first strike against Russia. And like I told you before, we know somebody does the first strike. We just don't know who does it. Is it NATO that does it to them, or do they do it to us? But it will happen. The latest Ukraine attack against Russia premier nuclear missile test facility seems to confirm Ukraine is not acting in its own interest. It is inter uh, acting in the interest of NATO, which we all know that, duh, which claims it's not a party to the conflict, which Russia knows that's a lie. And eventually they will strike. Them and China will strike. But we will be gone before that happens because God knows they're getting ready to do it. That's why we get pulled. Uh, there is a skull duggery afoot, and it appears NATO is exploiting, instructing Ukraine, which targets to hit inside of Russia. Now, there's another thing. I didn't cover it. Uh, I do think I have it here, though, I think. Let me see if I still have that story. Mm, I don't. They try to steal a Russian strategic bomber. What they tried to do, Ukraine, with the help of NATO, was going to pay a Russian pilot that literally flies one of their new uh, state-of-the-art strategic bombers, and they were going to get them to land that bomber. And this bomber had nuclear missiles on it and also nuclear hypersonic missiles on it. But they was going to pay them $3 million to land it in Ukraine, and then they was going to relocate him either to the United States or Europe. But this, uh, it, it didn't go through. Russia stopped it. But this is just shows you what they're trying to do to poke them. There's stuff that you don't see in the news. They don't, it never makes it to, there, and there's stuff that only the Lord knows other horrible things that they're trying to do to cause this war to happen. That's why we're constantly warning you. Now that what you hear back there in the background is the emergency action messages. They've been going off all day. One earlier was like, I guarantee you, 20 minutes long. So there is something. Remember, I told you last night and no doubt before, there's been a lot of activity around Moscow here in the United States. Last night we had five. See, we had three command and controls up. And I, there was two doomsday planes up, five of them all at the same time, all over the United States going in circles. And also the emergency oxygen messages was going off at the same time. So, like I said, there's something in the air. We can always tell by that if there's something going on that we don't know, and there is something going on. That's why I'm warning you about it. All right, let's see what else we got here. So we covered that. There was something else. Okay, here we go. A major European conflict is coming. The U.S. installs the SM-6 Tomahawk and hypersonic missiles with a range of 25 kilometers in Germany. Now, we talked about this yesterday. The war news 24-7, I think, has found some more news on it. Now, they're saying it's going to be done in 2026. We all know that's a lie. They, we know that they're planning to go to war in two months because they've let that slip, a lot of the NATO nations that kind of let it out of the bag. The reason why I know that that's true, because when Hungary got wind of it, that's when he, uh, Oban, I think, went straight to Russia. Because he don't want, he knows the nuclear weapons are going to start to fly, and he wanted to get hungry out of this when he got the news of what they was doing, and this is part of it. Now, back in the Cold War, Russia had a deal with the United States, and they did it with uh, Reagan and so on. But this deal was, if you're going to put nuclear weapons in Europe, they have to be gravity fed. No smart missiles, no Tomahawk missiles. This, and they said, if it ever does come to that point, Russia will have to make a first strike without no choice. 
because they can't allow it to happen. This is part of that. So let's get into it. Let me see. Let me save this right here for the bookmark. Okay. Thumbnail. The U.S. will begin deploying long-range strike missiles such as the SM-6 and Tomahawk into Germany, which is what I'm just telling you. Russia's already told them years ago. If you do this, we have no choice. And the Tomahawk in Germany is further evidence that the security of uh, architecture has collapsed and Europe is preparing intensely for a war with Russia, which is what we've been telling you. The media is going to tell you it's not, but what we have boots on the ground in Poland, up in the Baltics, and all these other areas are telling us that this thing is hot and they're turning towns into fortresses. So they're going to war. NATO's even made it known that in the next two months, this is why the hungry president, that don't sound right, does not The hungry president, was he hungry when he went over there? Sorry, I digress. Literally, when he went over, he when he saw the plans of what they was getting ready to do, it scared him to death what it was because he don't want his people being in the blast, but pretty much there's nothing he can do about that because there's going to be a major nuclear crosshairs and he's in the middle of it. So, from all the stuff that the intel we're seeing on the ground and in the sky over Europe, and see, that's stuff they can't hide from us anymore. We can see it. That's why I bring it to you and tell you what you're seeing in the news is a lie. They're getting ready for this. They're going to try to bypass the election. I'm telling you right now, They've got their mindset to go to war before them lectures. I'm telling you, they got it made. That's why I tell you, the rapture's close. Somebody's going to do a boo-boo and make a, make a bad mistake. And somebody's going to do a first strike. That's what's going to happen. And we leave before that. We leave before the normal. And listen to me very clearly. There's something else I want to address right now as we speak. No seals have been opened. Anybody tells you that, that's a lie. Okay? That's not scripture. That's a lie. The six seals, all the seals are open after the restrainer is removed. It's specifically in the Bible, people. There is, we're not in the tribulation. There's no seals, no trumpet judgments. None of that stuff's happened until we're gone. That is scripture. You can read it yourself. These people that tell you that, it, that is completely, utterly false. And you know scripture. See, I know scripture, and you can't pull that on me. I know what it says. And them things do not come into pass until the restrainers removed, and that's us. Okay. At the same time, NATO has announced yesterday that the new U.S. anti-aircraft base in northern Poland, designed to detect and intercept ballistic missiles, attacks as part of the wider NATO missile shield. This is a system that they're rushing to get in place. You hear it? It's going crazy in there. It's been doing this for a while. U.S. installs SM-6, Tomahawk, and other hypersonic weapons in Europe. Now, the U.S. is preparing for a long-term parking of missiles in Europe. This is, Like I said, this is the no-no that Russia always said you, they won't let it happen. Tomahawk and other hypersonic weapons under development. Now, here's the thing. They're what you call, what is the word? Uh, they're letting Russia know what they're getting ready to do. So that's getting Russia to, to attack. That's what they're doing. They want Russia to make a move, and they're really trying to bait them into it, and this is bait. Missiles with ranges of more than 500 kilometers were banned until 2019 under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, IMF Treaty, signed with the Russian government and former President Ronald Reagan, just like I just told you. According to the signatories, German, Hungary, Poland, and the Czech Republic destroyed their missiles in the 1900s to be followed later by Slovakia and Bulgaria. Now, the U.S. withdrew from the INF Treaty in 2019, saying Moscow was violating the agreement, citing Russia's development of the 9 M729 cruise missiles, known as NATO, as the SSC-8. Now, in late June, uh, President uh, Putin uh, said Moscow should resume production of the medium and short-range missiles after the U.S. brought similar missiles to Denmark for exercises with the Philippines. Now, what does the NATO communique say? The U.S. is to install new conventional and cruise missiles in, in Germany to fill the gap in Russia's deterrence capabilities, and two NATO allies have decided. 
The American and German sides with joint announcement from the sidelines of NATO summit in Washington clarified that initially it will be a temporary installation, but the goal is for the missiles to be permanently installed in Germany in the future. As noted in the announcement, in the future, ultrasonic weapons, which are currently under development, will also be transferred to Germany. Now, the exercise with uh, advanced capabilities will demonstrate the United States' commitment to NATO and its contribution to the comprehensive deterrence in Europe. According to the Frank Frutter, uh, these capabilities concern weapon system covering ranges of 240 to 460 kilometers, but even ranges up to 1,300 to 2,500 kilometers for Tomahawk missiles. Now, the new weapon systems will fall under the jurisdiction of the Multi-Domain Task Force, a U.S. military unit that has been in formation since 2021, and which includes artillery, air, missile defense forces, as well as experts in uh, dealing with cyber attacks. Now, this base uh, will henceforth coordinate the supply of weapon systems to Ukraine and the training of Ukraine armed forces. In fact, according to the German press, the member states of the alliance decided to open up the headquarters on Friday. So this thing's way ahead. The relevant announcement of the Synod states that the aim is to put Ukraine security support on a more permanent basis and is on its way to ensure an improved, predictable, coherent support while it is emphasized that is the way to transformation of Ukraine's defensive and security forces and will thus enable Ukraine to further interface with NATO. So far, the responsibility for coordinate the shipment of weapons to Ukraine and the training of soldiers has been the U.S., which for the purposes have deployed at the end of 2022 at the headquarters of U.S. forces in West Badenon, a unit of 300 soldiers uh, under the name Security Assistance Group Ukraine. The NATO command uh, will henceforth number 700 officers, 40 of which will be provided by U uh, Germany itself. A German general will even be the deputy commander of the base. The administration in question does not include Hungary, which has, like I told you, they're the ones ringing the alarms because they've been seeing what they're doing, has raised objections to the, the name NSATU, NATO Security Assistance, and training for Ukraine, arguing that this could draw the alliance into a direct confrontation. But there's a lot of other things they're not putting in there that he... We, I watched an interview with him, and he's talking about some things that there's not been released to the press, and there's some bad stuff that they're doing undermining Russia. And that's why it got him so scared. He went to Russia, even against the EU's uh, ideas of wanting him to go. I mean, he's really on their, their poop list. They've already tried to kill him, I do believe, one time. They almost tried to kill him in his limo. There's a lot of shady stuff going on. These people want their war. So, you know... I know I keep stressing it, but there's a lot of bad things, and that's why God's warning us with the knocks and the dreams, visions, all of it. He's warning us because he knows what they're doing. The prospect of deploying U.S. long-range missiles in Germany has sparked domestic backlash. Of course it has, because they know what it means. With supporters arguing it makes uh, Europe safer. No, it makes them dead. That's what it's going to make them. The opposite view, however, was at the risk of competition with Russia and triggering a new arms race in, as during the Cold War. It's past that. The things they're doing right now has passed the Cold War. The Cold War has nothing on what's going on right now. These people are in direct firing range of the Russians, and they are trying their best to get Russia to make a move. They're daring them like a game of nuclear chicken. People keep talking about the this because this gets people's mind off of it. It they have to push it on there, but they make it sound like you know you know they're just it's not real. But let me tell you something: what they're doing in Europe is the Cold War has nothing on what's happening in Europe and in the Baltic states. Nothing from what we're seeing on the ground for all the troops that are there. The Cold War has nothing on this. They are right up in Russia's face and making them make a move. You know it and I know it. I can, we can see it. They want a confrontation, and they're going to get it. Because in their minds, the economy's already shot, and the only way to try to, in their minds, bring it back is to go to war. That's what they're, I mean, that's what they're thinking, and that's what they're doing. And how do I know that? Because a lot of people has released that information coming out of NATO and all these other nations that are kind of like letting it seep out to show you what the United States is behind and what they're doing. 
So this, I'm telling you, this is nothing like the Cold War. Do not be fooled. It says, Meanwhile, France, Germany, Italy, and Poland signed a letter of intent today to develop cruise missiles with a range of more than 500 kilometers to fill the gap in Europe's arsenal. Now, Russia sees this. They st- you know, why wait for them to be able to do it? You hit them now. If Russia feels, and then they know that they they released a couple months ago a plan that NATO had, they found it in Ukraine. I haven't forgot it, of NATO making a move on Russia, a crippling, decapitating blow that was planned for some time, any day. And they found it. And then for as far as I know, this plan is still in play, and Russia's waiting for it. NATO plans to literally try to decapitate Russia anytime. They're going to go in and make a move, but it turns out disastrous. But see, this is all Lucifer. He's going to get this war, I've told you. He's not going to stop until he gets it. And you see how he's moving these people into place while everybody else is still asleep, just like the Bible tells us. They'll be asleep, and then the rapture will happen, and this will come and take place. That's what's going to happen, people. Mark it down. And at that time, the Psalms 83 war will be going on in the Middle East, talking about all hell on earth. Boy, it'll be hell on earth. So this world is not going to a happy place. It's a, people today, they're in the stores and everything. They have no clue. The world that's underneath their feet is going to be gone anytime. The days of going to Walmart, going to the beach and everything will end abruptly in one day. It will one day. It'll all be gone. We know it's coming because God's warned us. And our job was to warn you that it's coming. This day at this event is on its way. Now, we don't know when it is, but I think when we get close to it, I hope that we will know. But I don't know if we will or not. But it's on its way. And many have seen this day. And we have saw the rapture happen before it. So, like I said, we're very close to it. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Trust in the gospel. Trust Jesus, people. Put your eyes on him and always go to him first over anybody, anything you're hearing. Trust him and understand scripture. Read scripture. And if you've got any questions, we do have stuff in the description box for Brother Breaker. Breaks down how to rightfully divide the Bible and everything else. It's all there for you. Everything is there that will get you on your way to understanding the Bible a whole lot easier than what we've been taught. That's why we put it in there. Okay. Now, another thing, we don't mind helping people. Now, we have a lot of people requested where, we're, where me and my son's got problems and medical issues. We don't mind to help people. We, we love to do it. But you got to do, we can't do it for you. You have to do the uh, GoFundMe pages and all that stuff. You've got to do it. We don't do. We don't set that stuff up for you. For one thing, I don't know how to do it, and we don't have the time to do it. You've got to do that. Now, if you've got to GoFundMe stuff, but once again, we post it one time, and then it, we will not post it again until three months later. We're going to have to start doing it that way because people keep wanting us to repost it, and I'm not going to do that. The reason why we don't do that is because, you know, people, a lot of people are struggling. And we can't help everybody. I mean, it's just the way it is. A lot of people can't pay their bills right now. Okay? A lot of people. It's not just one. It's a lot. And there's just no way we can help everybody. We try to do our best we can. But make sure that you know, if you, we put you in there, it's going to be another three months before we will post it again. We're going to have to do three months. Every three months, we're going to do it. So if you send me something today, and I'm going to let it run for a week, and then after that, after another three months, we'll put it back on again. We, but we can't just keep posting it like that because you got to give other people a chance to get help too. You can't just keep reposting it. It's just we can't do it. But you got to do your own GoFundMe page. Like I said, you got to set all that up. Then you send us the link. Then we'll do it. But that's the only way we'll do it. If you don't know how to do it, you have to get somebody else to set it up for you. We don't do that. We have enough with going through emails and everything else, and we both work, and there's just no way. There's no way we can do that. See, if we set that up for you, we have to monitor it the whole time because we set it up and we ain't doing that. We can't. There's no way because we got too much other stuff to do. So you've got to do it. Then you got to monitor it. That's how it's all set up. So make sure that you do that. We, like I said, we don't mind helping people, but we can't keep reposting it. 
We'll help anybody out there as much as we can. If you give us a link, we'll post it in there. And like I tell all the family members, only if you have it. Okay, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Okay, it's only for those who can, that they can help a brother and sister. That's for what it's for. But we just try to put that in there to try to help as many people as we can. Because we love to help people. That's what we do. I don't want to see anybody do without. So we try our best to help as many people as we can. Because like I said, you're my family. I'll do it. But like I said, we just we can't set all that stuff and up and do all that stuff and do it through us. You'll have to do it through yourself. So once you get a link, then we will post it on there for a week, and then after another three months, if you still, it will come back on. But that's just the way we can do it. We can't keep doing it because YouTube will get us for that. Okay, so that's how we do it. Once again, I want to thank everybody who bought me coffees. Those ones who bought the super sticker share on YouTube, we had some come in after the first one. So I want to thank you guys. I want to thank all of you all for all the email confirmations and stuff like that and your dreams and the knocks. Thank you for all the stuff that you're doing there. Like I said, if you have anything out of the ordinary that's happening, make sure you send it to the email. If it's a prayer request, make sure that it goes under the pinned comment, which is under the salvation. Okay, so make sure that's in there also. So try to make it as easy as possible for me and Shelly. Like I said, we've got a lot of stuff we got to do, so it's kind of hard. So I love each and every one of you. If we have any more news, I'm going to come back on and give you some more breaking news. We're watching, like I said, we're watching the Cascadias. We're watching this stuff in Russia and what's happening in the Middle East. There's a lot of stuff happening right now, and it's starting to move a lot quicker. So we're keeping an eye on it. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.